Okay. Let's say you're zoomed really far into your timeline and you wanna to go to the beginning of your timeline to grab a clip. Press and hold function in the left arrow and it'll take you to the beginning of your edit. Now let's say that you need to go to the end of your edit. Press and hold function on your keyboard and hit the right arrow. Okay. To bring audio only from the browser to your timeline, hit shift three, then select your clip, hit Q to append it to your storyline and you'll see just the audio from your video clip in the browser came down to the timeline. So you've got a stack of B-roll clips and you wanna trim them all to this marker of select all all of them and then hit option right bracket and it'll trim all of those clips to your playhead. So let's say you want to extend this b-roll clip, select the edge of it and then hit shift x and it'll extend that clip to your playhead. This many animations is too messy, you want to focus on just one. Select that animation and hit control shift v and it'll solo just that animation. So to conserve space on my hard drive, I disable background rendering. But when there's a portion of my timeline that I want to see rendered, I can select those clips and hit control r and it'll render just that selection. 